All right, week seven, picking the upsets only per the week. Those of you who've been tuning in, it's where I do this contest with my buddy Brock. We can only pick the underdogs for the week. We each choose five teams. We go in snake order, and we see who correctly picks the upsets of the week. The winner of the year, we do a cumulative for the year, buys golf for the other person for the next before the next upcoming season. The first video of this series was done on a golf outing where we uh, played golf and we did our picks on the golf outing. So this last week, though, was brutal. Absolutely brutal. This was a chalk week. So what that means is there were zero upsets. Didn't matter who we chose. If we chose any team whatsoever, it didn't give a flying flip because there was not a single upset during the week. Every single team went chalk. Rough for us in our contest, but... Will survive. These were the picks I made last week. I said for upsets it would be the Cardinals or the Commanders or the Broncos or the Saints or the Raiders. Brock said the Seahawks or the Giants or the Jets or the Panthers or the Cowboys who have treated him very well. But obviously none of those things happen. So here's where we stand after six weeks. Last year I had 35 correct picks. I had a really good year last year. My picks were a lot better in everything, in predicting the weekly predictions, and predicting the upsets. Man, I was on a roll last year. This year, not so hot. Brock had 21. So far this year, I'm up 9 to 8, but there's a lot of year left to go, two-thirds of the season left. If it ended at the same pace we're at now, I'd finish around 27. Brock would finish around 24. That's kind of where it stands. So the rules for this, like I said, snake order. Whoever picks first, the other one goes two, then two, then two, then two, then one, so that we end up with five picks each. Doesn't matter how big the spread is, one point, half a point, six points, seven points, ten points, doesn't matter. Just has to be the underdog that you choose. And we do that from usually Thursday during the day. I'm releasing this video Friday, but we made the picks Thursday afternoon before the Thursday game, you'll see, because... Thursday game's already over, and I chose that game, and I was wrong, so it stinks for me, but oh well. Any even spread line means that you can each pick opposing sides. This never happens, is what I said, but it's already happened once this year, so we were able to do that once. I appreciate everyone tuning in. It's a lot of fun for us. If we can make this bigger, we want to get more people involved, and we want to be able to invite someone out to the golf fitting, but this has got to get bigger for that to happen. You don't get monetized. You don't get value <laughs> out of these videos unless it hits thousands and thousands of views so we're we're trying to build this thing if you wouldn't mind subscribing hitting the like button it helps us out we really appreciate it so this is where we go from here this is the picks we have this week i'll move me over here while we go through them you can see the bullets on each of these to so the top left there the saints are the underdog against the broncos that game's already over with because i'm releasing this on friday i'm recording this late 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 thursday night after the game i wanted to watch the game before i recorded the final touches of this video uh, but Brock and I recorded it earlier, so I already made my pick as the Saints. As you'll see, I'm spoiling the video. Sorry, guys. But then each of those bullets throughout, there's 17, no, I'm sorry, there's 15 games this week. There's two bye teams. The Bears and the Cowboys are on a bye. So that's the two teams that aren't involved in this. But all those little bullet points are the ones that are the underdogs. So the teams that we can choose between. And it doesn't matter if it's a one point, like the Kansas City Chiefs are a one point underdog against the Niners, or a nine and a half underdog like the titans are heading to buffalo to play the bills it doesn't matter so let me bring my buddy brock on we'll have him on i'll show that from here and we'll make our picks and we'll go from there all right welcome brock back on appreciate brock coming on as always welcome brock it's good to be back how was your game brock got to go to the game in nashville where he saw his colts win it's always good to see him win last game i went to it was zero to 24 so they scored <laughs> So it was a big improvement. Was that with me? Was that the last time you went to a game? Yeah, that was Jacksonville. Thanks a lot, Matt Ryan. Thanks a lot, Colts trying to fill the void of their quarterbacks. with. Don't ask me what I'm doing over here. I'm just trying to get comfortable because my brim was covering my eyes with the way my angle is. So good game for you. Lots of fun. It was but... good. It was way, way hot. But other than that, it was really good. In Nashville, it was hot? Heat wave. Yeah, it was 86 degrees during that game. Holy hell, that is hot. The all-time high was 88. They announced that. So, And the Colts were hot, too, pulling off a close one. Yeah. They were hot that first drive. After that, it was a little ugly, but a win's a win. Well, let's see if we can do better on our upset picks because <laughs> we didn't have any help last week. I mean, you can't do anything when nobody's going to upset each other. Chalk. Ridiculous. Yeah. 
Great for the betting people who want to bet chalk. I didn't bet chalk, so it didn't work out for me. But All right, so we got all the bullets starring the ones who are the underdogs. It has changed a little bit since I uh, created this for you and I. I created this a couple days ago to give you a chance to look at it, but it hasn't changed enough to not make them the underdogs. It's like half a point on a couple games where it's changed, so not much change. So you were week one, which means you're the odd weeks, which means you go first week seven. Yes. And uh, we got a lot more opportunity. This, that there's going to be better games this week, in my opinion. I think there's going to be some better games. There's a lot of interesting games this week, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Including you're... my first pick, which is going to be uh, Kansas City Chiefs. How mm -hmm. often are they the underdog? Yeah, yeah, of course you do. On my On my list, that's number one as well. So Brock takes... Number one off the board, the Chiefs. Anytime a five and zero team is uh, the underdog, you got to take yeah. them, right? I think so. Unless Smart there's a play. major injury. I don't know. It's in it's in uh, Santa Clara. Niners games are played in Santa Clara, not actually in San Francisco, which is a smart move. Because sorry if there's anybody who lives in San Francisco, it's a it's a dump. There's <laughs> never been multiple connotations. It's actually a lot of fun to visit. I just can't imagine living there. But uh, expensive too. Um, yes. I'm still considering going to the Bears game there this year. But didn't you go to the first game in that new stadium? First game ever. In fact, had to pause that real quick. I had to go get it. I've got my home opener commemorative ticket, September 14th, 2014. The Bears traveled and played there. And it was the game where we came back and. Uh, Brennan Marshall had three touchdowns from Jay Cutler to win the game. We came back and beat him. So this was a commemorative ticket they gave you when you went. This is plaque thing, Levi Stadium. So kind of cool. Yeah. I've got that in my little, whatever you call it, my stuff of commemorative stuff and NFL trinkets and stuff like the stuff. Did I say stuff enough? Just, just stuff. Stuff. Yeah my collector's stuff so all right get on to my picks all right with the second one then i'm going to take the texans over the packers because i love rooting against the packers so i think that's going to be a close game i think the packers have the edge with it being in lambo but obviously every one of these teams is the favorite so i'm going to take the texans texans number two all right and with number three i'm going to do the same thing Against the Lions, there's a no-lose situation here because the Vikings are 5-0, and but the Lions are a good team. I'm worried about them without um, Aiden Hutchinson. That's uh, it's going to be interesting It's a to big see loss. It. Yeah, it's gonna be, he's, he's over half of their pressure, which is crazy. Yeah. One player on the defensive line is over half of their pressure generated. But I'm still going to do it. I'm going to take the Lions. I want to see them upset the Vikings just for the fact of getting the Vikings a loss and making the division closer. Either way, it's in an happen. already close division, you want it closer. Yes, yes. Don't want anybody pulling away at six and zero and seven and zero and eight. No, I want to see them get a little bit closer. So either way, a team will lose. So that's good. But NFC North is brutal this year. It's the opposite of the AFC South. <laughs> you guys are three and three. Is that right? Three and three, and we're probably second in the division. I haven't really looked, but so you don't want the Texans to beat the Packers, obviously. No, it's better if they lose for us. All right, I guess my turn. Yep, two for you. I don't know what we're going to see with uh, when they bench Fields, but we'll see what Wilson can do in the Steeler game. I'm going to take the Steelers. Steelers, your second pick. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Especially I don't trust with, Wilson, but we'll see. Especially against the Jets with Devontae Adams being there now and – That'll be an interesting one. That'll be a game on my list to watch. Yeah. And then just for fun, we're going to go Cardinals. You're going right in order. Like I'm, my top five are right in order <laughs> with exactly, exactly. I mean, I had both. the Lions above the Texans. Other than that, we've, that's what my order's been. So, yeah. All right. We'll see if we can keep it going. I'm going to go with the Cardinals over the Chargers. I just did that, so I don't think you can. Wait, you didn't do the Cardinals over the Chargers. Didn't I just say Cardinals? 
Oh, I had the Cardinals written twice. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, I wrote down Cardinals. I don't know. Maybe I didn't say Cardinals. I meant Cardinals. Blooper of the week. <laughs> Blooper Adam's of cheating the week. again. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm up 9 to 8, but I really should be down 7 to 10. All right. Well, screw that one. I did have it written twice. My bad. You did pick the Cardinals. All right. I don't like any of the next ones coming up. I told you before this started, the top five are the best five. Yeah. There's still some decent ones, though. I'm going to go the Saints. I'm going to take the Saints. I don't love it, but the Broncos are hit and miss. So I'm going to go Saints. With no wide receivers, it will be an interesting game. Yeah, yeah. They're going to have to rely on the defense, see what they can do. You think That's they'll use uh, Taysom Hill a little bit more just to throw some trickeration out there? They're going to have to. I think they'll line him up in tight end a little bit, too. Okay. So yeah. It'll be interesting. Somebody's got to get targets, right? <laughs> Somebody has to. Oh, I don't like this at all. And then I'm going to go. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like any of these next ones at all. I'm going to go Seahawks. I don't even like the Seahawks. I made that known. I think they're frauds, but I'm going to go Seahawks. That's what I'm going to do. Go and Seahawks. Okay. I'm going to go with Bucks just because once in a while they, they throw out a upset like okay. they did against the Lions early on this season, but. Yeah, and against the Ravens, that's going to be tough, but yeah. we're getting down to the thin pickings here now, so I understand it. So I only wrote down two, nine, because that's all I needed, but I'm going off schedule here. I'm going to go with the Patriots. Patriots. Mainly because they're playing the Jaguars, and I think the Patriots can upset them. Okay. And then my last one. <sighs> Last one's going to be the Giants over the Eagles at home. Yeah, it's the only other one I had written down. Two weeks in a row at home, have a chance to at least feel comfortable there and try to knock off the Eagles. The Eagles haven't been playing great. They barely beat the Browns. So, I mean, there's a shot at that one. So, yeah, I forgot I threw on the Saints there at the end, but uh, that's why I did have 10 written down. You sure I can't steal your Cardinals one? Um, as long as I can have the Texans or Lions as well. Nope, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've got Texans, Lions, uh, Saints, Seahawks, and Giants. And Brock has the Chiefs, Steelers, Cardinals, Bucks, and Patriots. So there's our picks for this week. So quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you, got, you guys play the Titans this year, don't you? Or did you already play? Yeah, that was our first game of the okay. year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we All beat them right. 24-17. What's your question there for? Well, I was just going to say it It was a fun uh, vacation, so if anybody wanted to go there. But it's already over, so I That's can't one of my plug favorite the city. Parts, though. One of my favorite parts is traveling. So I don't live in Chicago, so it's fun to go travel to Chicago. But then go into Santa Clara for the Bears game there and then go into different stadiums. That's one of my favorite things to do is not always be in one spot. So going to Tennessee, I'm sure that was a lot of fun for you. It was. I enjoyed Brock, it. Brock's becoming a hockey fan too. While he was there, he caught a Predators game, and then yeah, it was opening night there when we showed up, and we looked at the schedule and says, "What the heck? Let's go." Yeah, and then uh, Utah Hockey Club, Arizona, Arizona Coyotes moved to Utah, so now he's getting all excited because Brock lives up in Utah, so now he's getting excited to watch his Utah Hockey Club. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a game sooner or later. We'll when they come out. down here, when they come face the Golden Knights, baby. Yeah, it's way more expensive down there. Come to Utah and we'll go to that game. It'll be a lot cheaper. Have you looked at ticket prices? Yeah, lower bowl, good seats, 200 bucks. You come down here anyways to come hang out and gamble and <laughs> play and have fun. So <laughs> it, it might be next week. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to, have to figure something out. But uh, good trip for you in Tennessee. What was the best food you ate out there? That's one of my favorite things is checking out food. When I went to... Chicago, just barely, there was this place called Smoke, a barbecue house. Oof, and it had good reviews, and it was delicious. I sure yeah, we, Tennessee had some good barbecue. We had a couple of good barbecue places we went to, and we had tried a couple of hot chicken places as well. So one melted my face, and the other one was pretty <laughs> tame. So. so the scale of hot is way different from restaurant to restaurant, I'll have to let you know. <laughs> Be careful. So it melted your face, so it probably melted other areas as well. Yeah, it was it was a bad day for a little while. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, we had we had the Titans at home. 
So they, that was the first game of the season. We played them at home at Soldier Field. So beat them 24 17. All right, Brock, thanks for coming on. Okay. We'll see you next week. We'll see how we do. All right, have see a good if we one. Get a, a couple more upset picks this week and see if we can get this thing ramped up after a dull week last week. Well, it's a dull week for you, fan, your fans, this week as well, since you're on a bye week. We're just trying to survive the bye, man. Just trying to survive the bye. Root against all those NFC North teams. Two of them play each other, so it makes it hard for all three to lose. But if the Packers and the Lions or Vikings can lose, we're happy. It'll be fun. Yeah. We have so many injuries. I would I would take a bye week right now, but we don't have it till the 14th, 14th week, I believe. Good time for us. Uh, yeah, we haven't been. Uh, we usually talk to each other about these injuries, but our secondary is as beat up as yours now. I mean, Kyler Gordon, Tyreek Stevenson, Jaquan Brisker; those are three of our main starters. I mean, three huge A plus players for us, and they're all we we need the we need the healing. We need the off week. Yeah. We need this bye. So that's good. good. All right, see you next week, my friend. Okay, we'll see you. Bye. All right, so there are the final picks for this week, as we just read off a second ago. I've got the Texans, the Lions, the Seahawks, the Giants, and the Saints, who have already lost. And Brock's got the Chiefs, Buccaneers, Patriots, Cardinals, and Steelers. Let's see if we can make some traction after a poor week last week where there were zero upsets. Absolutely kills this challenge when that happens. So zero upsets last week. I'm up 9-8 still. We'll see if we can make some traction this week. We'll see you guys all next week. We'll see Brock next week, and we'll see where we go from there. Adios.